you know that sometimes you're going to get your ATM stuck in a location and the owner closes business? Stay to the end of the video and I'm going to teach you how to get your ATM out of a business that's closed. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, and we help 100 aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. Always remember here at PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Without further ado, top five ways to get your ATM out of a location that closed. All right, so this does happen from time to time. I pray to God it doesn't happen to you, but it could happen. So what the scenario is, is you got the ATM, you put it in a location, you're doing great, and then all of a sudden you notice, hey, it's not, it's not communicating. You go to the location, the location is gone. The owner's gone, the business is locked up, you can see your ATM, sometimes through the window, sometimes through the glass, you can see it, but now you go and say, hey, what's going on? Call the owner, the owner doesn't answer the phone. Maybe you're lucky enough to have a manager's number or somebody else, you call that, and the manager says, the business is closed, I don't know what's going on, the owner won't return my phone calls either. So now you're stuck because your ATM is in the business, you got money in the ATM and you wanna get it out. What do you do? How do you handle the situation? This could happen, and this is the, what the video is gonna be all about. All right, so point number one, when you're signing up an ATM location agreement, make sure that you ask the gentleman or the lady, hey, do you own a building or do you lease? If they lease or rent the building, Make sure you get the landlords. Our insurance company is saying we need the owner of the building. Do you have their, their corporation name and do you have their phone number? Just we want to put it down for insurance reasons. This will solidify because if this ever happens, now you have the landlord's number of the building. Now, I don't recommend you call that landlord right away. Sometimes landlords have problems with putting ATMs in the building, but now in case something goes south, you have a number of the landlord, you have a name of the landlord, in case this happens to you, you can always call them and let them know. You're gonna to have to show them your agreement, but that is your ATM and that's your money. Point number two, let's say you didn't do any of that. Now you're stuck with this scenario. What do I do? You're gonna to go to a local municipality. You gotta figure out, is this business in the local city? Is it in a municipality of, of the county? What municipality is it? You're gonna to have to go down to local jurisdiction to figure out who owns the building because they'll have it on record. So if you're thinking about starting a profitable ATM business, stay in the, the video and I'll show you our checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist, the five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business so you have a passive income source for your family. You can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month and you'll have clear roadmap towards ATM business success. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, this could be a long one. This happened to us. You will have to wait for the landlord to rent the building out. So now you don't have a landlord's number, you call the old owner, they don't answer your phone call, you call the manager, or maybe you knew somebody was working in a store, they don't have any more information, the building's boarded up, the locks are changed, and so now you're now it's a waiting game. You will have to wait till either a realtor starts to rent that building out or the landlord puts somebody else into that building. At that stage, what you can do is, if they're gonna rent the building, now you just call the realtor, you say, look, I'm interested in renting the building, pretend like you're gonna go down there, you meet the realtor, they open a building, you talk, have some small talk, and you say, you know what, in fact, that's my ATM right there. What I'd like to do is contact the owner. Can you contact the owner for me and let them know that we have an ATM here? And that is how that process will start. More than likely, the owner of the building will direct you to their attorney, and that attorney will ask for a location agreement. Keep in mind, if you don't have a location agreement, you will probably forfeit your ATM. But since you guys are smart enough, and I've been telling you since day one to get the location agreement, now you take that location agreement, you ship that off to the attorney, and the attorney will now validate, yes, in fact, this is the owner of the ATM, and they will guide you on how you can start getting your ATM out of location. So point number four, maybe you don't wanna have to, you don't wait that line. You're interested, you wanna get that money out, you wanna get your ATM out. So what you can do is you, when you go down to the local municipality, you can also do a FOIA request for that information. Sometimes the local municipality won't have that information. You might have to go to the county building and then you'll have to figure out, you can talk to you. Sometimes the people at the county are real nice. They will help you identify, bring the address, and they will help you identify who in fact owns that piece of property. Sometimes you might have to do a FOIA request. FOIA stands for Freedom of Information Act. So 
you might have to do requests to get that information. If the people have a liquor license or a business license, the local municipality will have that information, but sometimes they won't give it to you. So again, you'll have to do a FOIA request, then they will give it to you. There is procedures to do all this. I'm just giving you these names. So when you talk to somebody at the local city, at the county, you can, now you know what you're talking about when you go to ask for this information. And point number five, and I've done this and it has worked, is sometimes the building, the landlord who owns the building knows some of the neighbors. Sometimes those people, because maybe the landlord is out of state, he's not right, right in the direct city, but he says, hey, you know what, can you do me a favor? I own the building, if anything happens, could you please give me a call? And you know what, usually the neighbors, sometimes, not always, they have the owner's name and number. So you can go to the local businesses on either side or across the street, ask, hey, do you know who owns 123 Main Street? Ask them, sometimes they have his number and you can call them, it has worked for me in the past. Either way, always remember to have that location agreement because the landlord will say or could say, hey, the business that was in there, they owe me a lot of money and that ATM is mine, everything in there is mine. I put a, changed the locks, picked that person out and all that is in mine. So you will have to prove to that business owner, even though you might have your name on your business card, on the ATM, you have the keys to the ATM, that money's yours, you have transactions to prove all this, they'll always ask for a location agreement, spelling it, that's in writing, that you have a legal document that says that that ATM is yours. So just make sure you always have your legal documentation and keep that documentation because you probably will have to send it to the building owner's attorney. If you want to start your own ATM business, I want to invite you to our checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. If you're interested, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Prizes and the ATM SY group page. Where we buy your frame back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys for making us number one on YouTube. And thank you guys for going to Rumble and checking out our other content.